All right, this is just going to be a short little video. I picked up a swarm of bees this morning and I'm just going to drop them into this net box here. <coughs> so I'm just doing this between jobs. So they're in this box here. And uh, actually, well, I'll pull some frames out of here so there's a bit of room. These guys came from a primary school this morning. Um, it's the 3rd of December 2018. And uh, it's somewhere around 8 30, 9 o'clock, something like that. I'm not really sure what time it is now, but I picked them up about 7 this morning. Very, very nice little swarm. Very docile, very quiet. No, um, no issues with stinging or anything like that. If we can just get them to go in. I'm just balancing this camera on the back of a chair here. <coughs> okay, girlies. The plan is to, <laughs> they're all heading back in there, so the queen's inside there somewhere. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can get myself stung here. And just carefully, come on, come on, it's all right. It's only me. Let's see if we can get some of these girls to go down in there. I've got a little bit of I've got a wax starter strips on these frames, so there's a little bit of beeswax in there, and there's a bit of um, lemongrass oil in there as well. It smells really nice. The bees love it. Yeah, there you go. Sting count so far is zero, which is good. Get off. Push these ones here. Come on. Just push them very gently. I can feel them. My fingers on the cardboard, and I can feel them just moving out of the way as I move my hand across. Don't go too fast, and they'll um, get a bit squashed, and they'll want to sting me. But uh, if I just go slow. Pushes them in, shake them off a bit, and grab some more from the top here. I didn't find the queen, as you probably guessed, because she's hidden somewhere in this pile of bees. Come on. I don't know how well this is coming up on the camera, but we'll, I'll see later, I suppose. So there's a handful of bees for you. shaking a bit there it's not out of fear it's out of because I'm a bit hungry I tend to shake a bit when the sugar gets a bit low get off get off you get just want to get this done as quick as I can and get out of here yeah, without squashing any
That one's hanging on my finger. It's, she's fanning away. I don't know, I might have just got the queen then, because that was a quite a that was quite a ball of bees just then. They didn't want to separate. Because these guys are falling apart a bit more. So Her Majesty may have just gone in there, I'm not sure. Let's open this up so we don't squash any. Oh look at those. Can you see that? Not really. Let's just up that a bit. The trouble is this fence is backlit with sun. So it's gonna cause some exposure problems on the video I think, but we'll see. No, don't stick me. Another nice handful. These are really nice bees, very calm. <laughs> Just pour a, a pile of bees from one hand to the other. In you go. In you go, girls. Don't squash any. In you go. Get off there. Oops. Always one hanger on. There you go. Just rescue some from on the ground. Yeah, up there. Girlies. Oh, one just head butted me. That's a bit of a warning. Either that or it's just a clumsy bee that was flying in the wrong direction. Just hit me in the forehead. Yeah, the rest are fine. I think it might have just been an accident. Oops, I just moved the chair. I'll have to find a better chair for next time. Oop. Okay, another big pile of bees here. Come on, come on, girls. We haven't got all day, it's not bush week, you know. Get in there. When I got to the school this morning, I could see an area that the garden had taped off in the garden with some caution tape. Get off. Um, and I had a look around and I couldn't see the bees. So I thought, oh, well, they're gone. But I went and got the gardener and we came and had another look and sure enough, they were still in a hedge and they were very quiet. There was only one or two flying, so they were quite difficult to spot. They were being much calmer than, than usual. Now this box is starting to tip over backwards, which tend to mean there's a bit of weight in the back of it. Yep. There we go. There's the weight. Oh, that's a sting. Sting in the thumb. Sting count one. Now yeah, I'm getting head butted again. I'm just licking that um, sting. I haven't got a smoker with me. Just to get rid of the smell off my finger. Because I don't want them smelling it. When they sting, obviously, they release a pheromone. Or well, before they sting, they release an alarm pheromone. It smells a bit like bananas. Um, and the other bees, when they smell that, they can get alarmed as well. So it spreads throughout the, throughout the hive, the guard bees. Just any bees, really. I suppose. There's a bee crawling up my pants. Come on, back in the hive. There you go. Um, so if, when you get stung, you need to, um, <laughs> I'm a bit jumpy now, that wasn't a sting, that was just, get off. Um, when you get stung, you need to cover up the smell a bit, and if you've got a smoker, you just blow a bit of smoke onto the, 
onto the spot where you got stung. Um, either that or just cover up the, the spot so that they can't get to it or smell it I suppose. Um, so I just stuck my thumb in my mouth and gave it a bit of a clean. Doesn't really hurt that much. I don't mind getting stung by bees. Um, I don't like getting stung by wasps. That's an entirely different um, experience. Getting stung by wasps is not fun at all. In fact, that's when you that's when you tend to scream and run away. That could be quite funny on a video. Well, funny for somebody watching the video. It's not particularly funny when it happens because it's it's like it stuck with a a red hot needle or something. It's a big shock when it happens. But bees are quite. It's almost like just getting a splinter or something like that. It's a it's a little shock for a second or two, but you know then it's it just fades away to a bit of a. It's just a little bit sore. There's a little cluster there. Come on girls, get in there. Don't want you to hang around too much. I'm using my hand that got stung, so I hope they don't smell it. Come on. This is actually fun. It really is. It's a bit of fun. Entirely different experience to the last video I did where they were um, they were in swarm mode and they were just flying everywhere. These guys, there's there's probably ten in the air or so flying around me. But other than that, they're all just sitting around and fanning. Alrighty, what I might, oh no, there's a big, I was about to say I might just risk it and bang the box to get them out, shake the box, but uh, there's a huge cluster up in the corner here, I'll just grab them. I'm doing this blind in here. going in they're not coming out again off off no, how many we got left no, still <laughs> swamp's looking a bit bigger than I thought it was it's hard to, hard to tell the size it's not a bad size swarm this one certainly not huge but not tiny either Hard to explain the sensation of sticking your hand into a ball of bees. It is. They're sort of vibrating a bit and they're warm. <laughs> and there's that little bit of um, anxiety, no, not anxiety, a little bit of um, anticipation, you're waiting for a a bit of a sharp pain in one of your fingers if one of them decides they're not happy. So there's that little bit of hesitation. But right now, right this second, there's not really much else I'd like to be doing. This is, this is cool. There you go. 
I'm really hoping these guys stick around because these are some nice bees. Very nice bees. I think little Miss Queenie, when I find her, is going to be a nice girl. Now these guys came from a different suburb. These guys came from Applecross in Perth, West Australia. So I'm getting quite a, a number of different sources. All over Perth. Oh, there's one that's not looking very healthy. Oh, what happened to you? I don't think I squashed her. Maybe she got a bit hurt when I... I had to um, cut some branches. They were sort of inside a hedge, so I had to cut some branches. But I um, wasn't aware of any bees getting squashed at all. When I did it, it was all quite gentle. Come on, I know you like sitting on my fingers, but get off. Get off. Alright, there's not really that many left. <laughs> he says. Alright, I'm going to risk this. And uh, give them a bit of a shake. Last time I did this, I got stung in the face. So it wasn't an awful lot of fun. And I'll just put them there and do that. It's all good, girls. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all right. Yeah, it's a lot more flying now. A lot more in the air now. It's all good, girls. All good. There you go, your queenie's in there. So I've just got um, just a little starter strip of wax in the top of the frames. That bit fell out. I've just glued it in there with a bit of melted wax. And uh, just let them do their own thing. It's kind of the plan. I'll stick these frames in so I can reduce the size of the opening. Um, I believe the queen is in the box now. Just this one on top of my head. Get off. Just by the way they're behaving. So there's the full strip. So I just drop that into the into the cut on the frame and then just drop a little bit of melted wax in there just to hold it in. And I use that as a strip to, to build their their um, comb on. Tends to keep them in line. There's a drone. Come here, boy. That's a boy bee. That one there. Typical bloke. Oh, no, he just flew away. Typical Aussie bloke. All he does is sit around the house. There's another bee, doesn't look too happy. Get out. Sit around the house, eating, and uh, going out on the town occasionally to um, do his thing with a few girls. That's all they do. tend to hang around in a swarm. They're not really that useful in a swarm. <coughs> the boys don't have stingers, so that's why you can just, they're kind of fun, you can pick them up and have a good look at them. All right, one more. All right, just about all the bees out of there now. Very few left. And lots more in the air. They'll calm down very quick. They'll gather back. They'll gather back where the queen is quite quickly. Let's give this one more little tap. Oop, squashed a bee. <laughs> Not good. I'll just get that box out of the way. I 
I'll just um, put this lid on. I'll slide it on like that so I don't squash anything. Get me out of the way. Let them find the entrance at the front. Sorry about that. I might just quickly move the camera. So we can see if anything goes in. Just adjusting the legs on the, on the um, gorilla pod here. There we go. So they should start to smell the queen, the, um, the pheromones from the queen will be coming out that entrance and out the, um, the ventilation hole there, there's another vent at the back, at the back of the box, but um, they've got a very very good sense of smell and they will sense that. There's probably a couple of hundred in the air now, that last um, whack of the box dislodged quite a few, but they're they're um, sensing it. So these guys here, that one there, they're fan, that's called fanning, but they're standing there blowing air with their wings. That one, you can actually feel the air with your finger. There's a bunch of them there doing it. And they're blowing the, the pheromone scent to tell the other bees where the queen is. They're blowing the, the scent out of the hive into the air and the other bees are home, home, homing in on the, I'll get that word out eventually, homing in on the smell and they're coming into land. So that's about it, I'll just leave those guys there for now, I've got to head off and do some work and uh, hopefully when I come home later this afternoon in five or six hours um, they'll still be there. So, look at them all fanning, wow, that is so cool. That is so cool that they're, um, let's see if I can get closer and refocus. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I forget, I'm using an old iPhone and uh, you've got to manually refocus the thing. It autofocuses apparently until you press record and then it just doesn't autofocus anymore. It's really stupid. Um, so you've got to press on the screen where you want it to focus. And uh, sorry, I forgot about that. So hopefully some of it's in focus anyway. Oh, there's a, a bee in my beard. Get out. Yeah, all right. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that for now. Um, there's a bee crawling up my neck. Hang on, while I get off there. Yeah. Um, hopefully they'll be here when I get back. All right. Have a good one. I'll catch you later.